This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. The last formula we're going to take a look at is the ability to rank scores against their relative partners. We're going to use the rank workbook in order to demonstrate this function. This is a set of year 12 exam results and shows the scores for a number of pupils, Mike, Guy, Mary, Colin, Bob, etc. for a number of subjects, math, English, science, PE, OMED and RE. The scores are all out of 100, so effectively they're percentages. And we've already worked out the average, and you can see that's using the average function of the six scores and the total, and that's using the sum function of the six scores. Now to work out the person's position in the class, we can use the rank function, which equals rank, open brackets. We would like to rank their total score, comma, in relation to everybody's score. So that's all of those cells. And then you'll notice order is optional. We'll leave that off for the minute and close brackets and return. And it says that Mike is in 10th position. Now we can take that function because we want to rank each of these scores against the relative position against the other scores. Just before we do that, we need to do that absoluteness on the range here before we drag down. So you highlight both parts of the range, the first cell and the last cell, F4 to dollar it up and return. Makes no difference to Mike, but as we drag it down, you'll see that everyone else then gets ranked. Now, having dragged that down, we're going to lose the bottom thick border here because the cell we dragged down didn't have a bottom thick border. So just a little cleverly with the fill handle, if you click the drop down, you can fill without formatting, in which case it will drag the formula down, but not the format of the cell that we've dragged. Fill without formatting, and you can see that this chunky bottom line does not get ruined then. So looking at the ranking system, Guy is in first place. I haven't done it on purpose, it just seemed to work out that way. And in second, we have Santa. So that's using the rank function. If we go back to the first one, which is Mike. We notice that there's this optional order at the end. So we've said we'd like to rank that cell's value against all of these cells value and effectively tell us its relative position. If we put a comma, to activate the third part, the optional part, you'll see that you can rank against the values in descending or ascending case. The default is descending, so the rank position is one if you're at the top of the list, and however many there are in the list, if you're at the bottom. In our case, it was 13. If we choose ascending, if we can choose that little drop out, or you could have just typed a one, you'll find that Mike is now in fourth position. But if we drag those down, and fill without formatting again so we don't lose that bottom border. I'm now in last place because the assumption now is that the lower the score, the better, in which case Mary becomes first position. So sometimes you will want to rank top to bottom, so the highest is best, the lowest is worst, but other times you will want to rank lowest is best, highest is worst, where, for example, it might be faults in a competition for horses, as an example. The lower score is better there.